Okay, this update video is going to be a super quick one. I'm noticing a couple of small problems still. Uh, some of them are harder to understand. Uh, like on the image you see here on my screen, what we have here is the Dodge Dakota. It's a, a mid-sized pickup truck. And you can tell that the, the left two are the side door windows. But this right here, because they have the pattern set up, so that it will all fit within one specific length of, of pattern sheet because it rolls out on a long roll. And it's all computer cut. So when the client actually rolls it out, here I'll try to bring up a uh, image of his website for you. Here we go. Give him a moment. Actually, you know what? I think the same machine, without giving away too much, is on the computer cut site. So let me... Here we go. That'll load a lot faster, too. We're editing this, as you can tell. There's a lot of new menu items. So let's get over to computer cut. Okay, this machine right here you see with the background here, this is the exact machine that the client has. And as you can see, there's a roll here, and then it feeds through the mechanism, and it comes out right here up front. And what that is, is that's, that's a roll of window tinting film. So when they show the image that you're looking at, that's going to slide out on the roll, and they're trying to print the outprint on the specific film, and you know, not waste as, as as much space as possible. Try to try to use up as much of the space as possible. And sometimes, if the image hasn't been edited to uh, to really show things a little bit better, and I do, I edit some of them where I'll move something over. But if you're just looking at it in a standard 600 by 400 format, the odds are really good that most of the time, when you see something like this, this is exactly how it's going to print out. So these windows right here on the far right, if you were to actually break this down a bit, the top one would flip over and scoot to the right. And then this one right here, off to the middle area, would slide in between and it would slide from left to right. In fact, it's turned completely because this little notch out here faces sideways. And it, it holds a clasp to lock the window closed. And the only reason I know that is because a really good friend of mine that I've known for about 20 years, the, the year that they rolled this truck out, his father worked for Chrysler. He fell in love and bought like the first one he saw. He's madly in love with this truck. But anyhow, this is, this is the back window right here. So sometimes, again, kind of like I pointed out in the last video, sometimes the back window, especially on a truck, can be really tricky. This is a back window. When you start seeing funky squares and it looks like half a window here and half a window here, usually that's a back window. And next, oops, got to pull up my images. I also want to point out naming. When you name the image, and I've said this before, the first letter in every word has to have a capital letter. Also, if it's an acronym or a name that always has capitals, like the GEO was always capitalized, BMW always capitalized, or if you're or if you're working with some of your models, they'll have you'll have acronyms or capitalized letters that are in the middle of the name, like the Ford XLT Lariat. XLT is always capitalized. It's it's a large truck, you know, and this is their their supposedly their luxury edition, extra luxury. I don't know what the T stands for, but that they're all capitalized. It's an acronym. That's their extra package of whatever it is. So if it's an acronym or the first letter, capitalize it. So like on this one with the Dodge, you'll notice that he got most of these, and the guy that did this, he's doing a great job. We're just we're seeing a couple of simple mistakes, so I want to go over these with you guys. We just need to change this. It takes you one second. You don't even have to open the image for these. The, the simpler changes. And then just change it. Next, let's open this one specifically. Alright. 
you're going to notice, now this is probably an extended cab because I'll gamble that either this or these are going to go on the back seat, but this is also looking like it's a truck. Yeah, the Dodge Dakota Club Cab. Club Cab means extended cab. Now, he did do, he did put the number one in the right spot. Now, remember with the rear window, it always goes dead center. And this one here on the bottom with the notch, he did put it just a little to the left, which is great. However, and, and I've said this a couple of times, this one up here, where the A is, he's got it dead center. Now, I realize there's no notch, there's no cut, there's no separation of anything there, but we want to be consistent. And when I say that, I mean we want to have that A... If this is dead center, we want it dead center from the top to the bottom, and then just a little bit to the left. Like I said, about a half a centimeter, about like that. Half a centimeter to the left. Now, some of you are still making the same mistake, and you're putting it halfway over, or in a couple of cases, I've even seen it way to the left. When I say left... I only want it a little bit to the left. I want it centered from top to bottom, but not in the dead center like you see here. About a half a centimeter. If you're not using the metric system, if you're using the standard measuring system, we're talking a quarter of an inch, give or take. If you want to kind of view that using the actual ruler, let's see your view rulers okay you'll notice that and this is only if you have to do this if you put your mouse right here on this one I'm just just a little bit less than three notches to the right of the 250 millimeter mark so I need to make sure that I am at least at or near Two more notches over. I've gone a little bit further to this side than I thought. There you go. Like two millimeters, guys. That's it. Two millimeters. Two little notches. That's all it is. Just enough to the left of whatever the farthest middle point is. Now this one is probably a little bit more because we want to give a little bit of a gap between the edge of the cutout piece there, and he did a great job. But on the other sun visor edge, make it a little to the left so that there's consistency. If you look at these two, you can tell that they're both a little to the left. I realize there's no notch, there's no cutout, there's no nothing, but we want to be consistent. You know, remember, this is graphic work. What you're doing has to have some kind of, you know, uh, I know it's low-end graphic work, but it has to have some kind of artistic consistency it's it's not van gogh <laughs> we just want to make sure that when the customer looks at it if they've got five cars they're not going welcome the a is way over here to the right and then the other a is right here dead center but then i look down below and the b is off to the left a quarter inch we want to be as consistent as possible when we do these things and because of that i want all the images to do that so again all capital letters all numbers for the rear window are dead center top to bottom, dead center left to right, or as good as you can get it. You don't actually have to measure this out to the millimeter, but as good as you can get it. And then with the letters for the sun visors, like you see here, dead center from top to bottom, but move it over to the left a little, a little couple millimeters, just enough so that you can tell that if there was even a small mark for a sensor in the very center, they can tell that it's not there and there's no visual obstruction. So that when they're looking at this, if they look at theirs and there's no obstruction, then they know that A is the right pattern for them. But because we also have the one with the notch out on the bottom and it's moved to the left, they can see that if the one with the notch is taken out on the bottom is the one that they need, this is it and it's clearly marked for them. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, um, be very careful with the back windows. I'm sure there are a few more that I could find if I went digging around in here. But 
make sure absolutely sure in fact before I go here's another one that I've noticed and this one I don't know why they did this on this model but you have to be very careful and make absolutely sure if you look at this image really carefully this and this depending on how wide these two windows are could be a dual rear window they're not but on some images if you look and it looks like this and it's a split pane if it looks as wide as the other rear rear window does then it's a rear window the reason I know that this one isn't another rear window is because right above it are the other options for the club cab which you can see in the, in the item name so you can tell that this is something that might have a second set of doors or at least a partial bit in the back seat of the truck for extra room and again though you'll notice that we need to change that to a capital letter so I'm gonna get going I don't want to drag this one on for 15 or 20 minutes like the other ones but if you have any questions please contact me we want the A or, or B or whatever level letter a little to the left um, if there are door options like XYZ which are very very rare dead center put one on every one of them though contact me if you're even curious if you found one there's been a couple of people that have contacted me and one of the guys was dead on he was right that's exactly what we needed to do he asked me how to market and I showed him and he had no questions after that it's really simple it's one of those things where you're having two exact sets of windows for the door panels and you can tell that one's got like a little hole or, hole, or a little set of notches in it and the other one doesn't they're just identical but in this case, that's not the situation. And in 99.9% .9 of all cases, that's not the situation. Just be careful with all your rear windows and the way you're labeling this. And again, where you're putting the letter for your sun visor. If you have any more questions, contact me via email or via Oldesk. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.